What I said was welcome to the land of the Yungar people. First of all, we're going to do the smoking ceremony so no evil spirits come along. Herdsman Lake Wildlife Centre. We're now celebrating our 21 years of being in this building. 21 years ago, there was nothing here. This was a vision by a number of educators who wanted a place where we could bring students to experience and learn about their environment. My role here is uh, as the centre manager. I uh, am employed by the Department of Education and Training and uh, uh, basically my role here is to make sure that our program is, is tied in with the curriculum. Well, Herdsman Lake is about 7,000 years old. And you and I weren't here 7,000 years ago, but the people that were here were the Noongar people. That's the, the Aboriginal people here. In the last couple of years, we have developed our Indigenous training program too that we have. We've got a partnership with Yelikip Mort. They're the direct descendants of the Noongar ancestors. That this was their land. So Neville Collard and his team, uh, they come here and we do lots of hands-on indigenous activities and things like that. So people can experience what it's like to be down here, what it was like to live 7,000 years ago. What this is used for is for sunblock, sunscreen, and this, this little bush here, the leaves, the Noongar is used for arthritis. It tastes just like, like a baby carrot. So what they do, they get a bit of, bit of reed, see, and they put a hole in there. So what you're doing is you walk out into the water, They rub it like that until you get left with a nice, soft bit of paper bark. This one here, look, see? Who can name some of the uses of the paper bark tree? Oh. Yep. Hertzman Lake is what we call a wetland biome, and it's made up of a number of different smaller ecosystems or habitats and uh, they're named after the dominant species. So the one, the first one is the one we're standing in. This is called open grassland. Now it's not a natural ecosystem. This would have all been flooded gum. So that's open grassland, dominated by obviously grass. You will see that there are a number of different other ecosystems. One is our paperbark ecosystem or melaleuca. We've also got the bulrush, dominated by the Typhus orientalis, probably dominates about 70% of our wetland is now bulrush. And then we have the open water ecosystem. Most of that's actually as a result of dredging, creating like a moat around the outside of the wetland. And the aim of that was to try and stop feral animals getting in. Well, that's our swamp area. We only have two swamp areas in the whole of this wetland. Why do we only have two? We have 380 hectares of wetland. In that 380 hectares, there's only enough plants to feed enough coots to feed a pair of nesting swamp harriers. We have the mountain duck or Australian shell duck. We see lots of the black duck, which is quite common. We have little grebes and hoary-headed grebes. Black swans, you'll see many black swans down here, all nesting. You'll see their babies. Pelicans come in. Under the eaves of our wildlife centre, there are our welcome swallows. And they're busy, all busy having babies now because there's lots of insects around. I think the most fascinating thing that's down here, and something that really thrills the students, is when they see a tiger snake. Its favourite fruit are the frogs down here. I probably see uh, two tiger snakes uh, a week all year round, and I don't even look. Herdsman Lake is one of the largest wetlands within any metropolitan region anywhere in the world. And so it's a fantastic place. It's amazing that it's preserved. If this was in Amsterdam or any other place in the, anywhere in the world, we'd have millions of visitors here. And we do get a lot of international visitors coming here. It's a favourite birding site. We want to nurture a passion for nature. 
and so that people get passionate about nature, they experience it and they learn to value it. Whoa. Kids come along and they hear all this stuff happening and they can see wildlife and you see the interaction between the different species happening right there. It's really cool.